on Peacock coming up this weekend. Get ready for the biggest event of the summer. Do not miss John Cena, Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, Bianca Belair, and all of your favorite WWE superstars at SummerSlam live Saturday, August 21st, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, exclusively right here on Peacock. You can watch WWE Originals and the WWE Vault. Go to PeacockTV.com to get started and help us get all ready for it. TJ Jefferson, the Rich Eisen Show uh, social media grandmaster, and his, his, and his part of his hyphen it, is Rich Eisen Show resident wrestling fan and expert diehard? I, are you ready? No, stop. Yeah. You are. <laughs> I don't. You, you know more than any of us combined. All right. So you have the floor, sir. Yeah, man. So this weekend, Saturday. Seems- it's first of all, it's weird. Summer Slim's going to take place on a Saturday. It's usually a Sunday, so okay. that's interesting. They're going to have NXT on Sunday, but it's going to take place at Allegiant Stadium, home of the Raiders. Right. And I'm. I think it's maybe safe to say this is going to be the less, the least amount of violence that that stadium is going to see for the next five months. Okay. All right. So that, uh, <laughs> uh, is this is this the debut of your top five? This you is a make, little, little thing we're going to start. Debut a little pilot program, it's TJ's top five. TJ's top five. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, Very nice. I like that. <laughs> Very let's nice. Keep that up there, Hoskins. Graphic. No, no, no. Get, you don't have time. TJ, Sit down. We don't have time. What are you doing? Sit down. Where are you? Where's he going? He's, oh, now he's, that I see it, I'm gonna okay, sure he's going to put his he's going to put his oh, glasses oh, on right now. Yeah, okay, okay very good. Oh, bam. All right, you know, nice to see. Do it. Very you know, good. Let's do it. Right. Right. Here we go. CJ Jefferson's top, top 5, five. Let's, let's for SummerSlam. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is Edge versus Seth Rollins. Let me put that picture up. Uh, okay. Edge is a Hall of Famer, bro. And you know this. Legend, I know it. Legend, Legend in the game. He uh had a terrible neck injury in 2000 and 11 made him retire. Yeah. He came back 9 years later, made his triumphant return. Now he's wrestling again. And we have Seth Rollins, who's not happy that Edge is back, kind of taking his shine. Okay. I love, I, love it, I love it when wrestling can do a nod, right? Something happened between the two in 2014. Seth Rollins threatened to break Edge's neck when he couldn't wrestle and was kind of in a weak state. Uh-huh. Now they're pulling that back, and they're now going to actually have a match where they're going to butt heads. And okay. I'm predicting that Edge is going to come out on top of this one. But it, it'll be – this might be just – as far as wrestling matches go, the match of the night. Okay, that's Ooh, number that's, one. That's what else, really what else are you looking for? Uh, secondly, we have a tag team championship match, and this is between AJ Styles and Omos, the tag team champions, mm-hmm. going up against Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, RK Bro. Now, Matt Riddle is a guy who, former UFC fighter, legitimate guy, had some trouble with the, uh, as Stephen A. Smith likes to say, about staying off the weed. He, he had some issues with marijuana, which <laughs> led him to be cut from the UFC unfairly, in my, in my estimation. Okay. He, he would have had a 10-3 and three record if you took away all his disqualifications for marijuana in the system. But Matt Riddle's kind of like if you were to take Jeff Spicoli and Mike Barnes from Karate Kid 3, who was much meaner than Johnny Lawrence. So Jeff Spicoli and Matt Bar- Mike Barnes, and you put them together, you'd have Matt Riddle. Randy Orton, of course, a legend in the game. He's a Viper. You don't get a nickname like the Viper yes. and be a nice guy, right? Yes. But he's being nice to Matt Riddle because Riddle loves him and he holds him in high regard. So Randy Orton's teaming with him, and I think it's going to be a feel-good moment. Okay. Rated RK Bro is going to win tag team gold. Well, for one of them, it could be particularly feeling good if, if <laughs> you know they're still... Yeah, the, he, that sort of stuff. But he's, okay, he's still feeling. So good. you got three more to go. We what got else three you more got? to go. We're knock yeah. this out quick. Yeah. We have the uh, SmackDown Women's Championship matches is between Bianca Belair, the champion, yes. and Sasha Banks, who is Mike Del Tufo's absolute favorite. Okay, um, you know these two headline WrestleMania, huge moment in wrestling for the two Fantastic. of them. Fantastic. And I feel like this could go either way. Sasha has a new little faction going to bad women who are like going to terrorize the rest of the. The girls, and so she could win and set up Becky Lynch coming back, who, as we all know, is probably the biggest star that they have there. But I, me personally, I'm hoping Bianca wins. I feel like she's the perfect person who, if you are running a company, you want them as the face of your she company. She was on uh, Tokyo Gold. Yeah, it was a delight she, to interview her great, on, on Tokyo Gold. Great story. Okay. So I would say I'm looking for Bianca to win that and uh, retain her title. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have the WWE heavyweight title bout between our friend Bobby Lashley, who mm-hmm. I'm still waiting to hear if I can join the Hurt Business, even though they're out of business. But I, I'm still looking for an answer. Understood. I think you should keep waiting. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> and the legend, a member of the tribe, Goldberg. Which, and um, <laughs> You know, here's the deal. I, I'm not here for any Goldberg slander. People like to try to rewrite history with Goldberg. Back in the day, in the late 90s, 
Goldberg was the absolute of course, man. The king. He was, he was the sick. king. And I don't care what people now try to say. He was the man. He turned a lot of people on the wrestling that weren't in the wrestling. But I believe this is Bobby Lashley's time. And I feel like, you know, okay. Bobby Lashley, the almighty, is going to take out Goldberg. The tribe. Yeah. Well done. And, and lastly, last, yes. we have the returning John Cena taking on of the course. man right now, the, the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns for the universal title. And, you know... Here's the deal. John Cena is sitting at 16 world championships. He's tied with Ric Flair for the all-time record. Kind of like having the most Super Bowl wins. Now, if someone wants to get real petty because Ric Flair asked for his release, they could maybe let Cena win so he could take over the all-time title win. Mm. I hope that's not the case. Well, he doesn't want it that way, too. He doesn't want it that way. Roman Reigns is the man right now. You should acknowledge him. He is the head of the table. He is the tribal chief. And I feel like Roman Reigns is going to dominate John Cena on Saturday. He's going to solidify his spot. Dang. And so, the only okay. thing they have to worry about, there's a guy named Big E, former Iowa Hawkeye defensive uh, lineman, who has a money in the bank contract, which allows him to have a title match whenever he wants it. Well done, TJ So either Jeffers. Lashley or Roman's got to worry if Big E is going to snatch his title, is his money in the bank back from Baron Corbin. And well, Cashman. check it all so. out on Peacock coming up on Saturday night, the SummerSlam. We'll check your work on Monday. Yeah, I feel In the meantime, we've got a whole third hour coming up with Billie Jean King on The Rich Eisen Show. Well done, TJ Jefferson. Nice work. Well done. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.